starting with my presentation the topic of my presentation is importance of the crime scene in, in investigation of rape cases next slide please yes uh in all ages has become one of the most common crimes in india as per the recent report of ncrb there has been drastic increase in rape cases and one of the biggest reason for these never ending crime is that laws are still not came implemented strictly and justice to the victim is not still delivered and delayed for never ending criminal proceedings that's why the criminals even dare to burn the victims alive we have seen the cases of nirbhaya hathras unnav so many cases have been there where uh, the criminals not even tried uh, not even committed the crime but also uh, dare to tamper the evidence and kill the victims so th basically this presentation overall talks about the importance of the crime scene in criminal investigations particularly the rape cases next slide please so what is crime scene crime scene is the location where a suspected criminal offense has been occurred and it is uh, it also includes a place where majority of the physical evidences associated with the crimes are obtained so basically it's a place where crime has occurred this is called crime scene next slide please so the importance of crime scene is that uh, if crime scene has been dealt with carefully it may pro provide the physical evidences which are uh, which, which is absolutely necessary to build a case against a suspect suspected persons so every evidence recovered from the crime scenes can be used in various ways to establish if a crime has in fact occurred or not so only reliable impartial evidence can be used in court therefore the evidence samples recovered from a crime scene needs to be carefully handled preserved packed transported throughout the whole process of investigation this careful investigation and systematic investigation of crime is known as the chain of custody which needs to be demonstrated in order to make forensic evidence admissible before the court of law next slide please next slide please mm -hmm. are you able to hear no, this is the next slide only okay okay, okay. importance uh, right sir importance of crime scene in a rape case so uh, the crime scene is important for the investigation in a rape case because it is the main source of collecting information as well as the place where only uh, direct or indirect evidence of a crime allegedly committed crime can be found therefore the primary reason for the management of the crime rape crime scene particularly the rape crime scene is to guarantee the integrity and originality of physical evidences collected as well as to ensure that thorough and unbiased investigation can take place next slide please so uh, why crime, uh, why uh, the uh, the crime scene is important uh, in a rape case is that in rape cases uh, we only find two types of evidences that is physical evidence or testimonial evidence the purpose of criminal is undoubtedly to uh, criminal investigation is to search for the truth and observing a crime scene with the, that intention um, in india specific uh, specifically in india poses a challenge that offender awaits justice so in order to solve uh, rape cases physical and testimonial evidences are of vital importance but physical evidence has superior influence in defining what happened at any crime scene in comparison to the testimonial evidence uh, because testimonial evidence uh, uh, could be biased or it is also subject to memory loss so it is therefore required that proper and systematic investigation must take place as the crime investigation next slide please so what is the importance of physical evidence in rape cases physical evidence is the evidence that speaks for itself and such evidence may be found by searching the crime scene so it can be helped in rape cases to link the criminal uh, with the victim or to the suspect and uh, it can also be used to corroborate the suspect's statement or plea of alibi that he was present somewhere else uh, it can also be used to in the uh, to compel the person to confess the crime and it 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 has been used 
not not particularly in india but uh, in other developed countries it has been successfully used for exonerating the innocent per per, uh, persons next slide please so what kind of physical evidence is can be found at a rape crime scene so sources of physical evidence is are basically the crime scene victims cloth body suspects cloth body weapons vehicles and other other areas while blood and semen are the most common forms of physical evidence is that can be found on a rape crime scene but other forms of physical evidence is also includes saliva vaginal rectal swabs finger nail uh, finger nail scrapings hair samples such as pubic hair head hairs and skin and fibers so all these evidences may serve the same purpose and uh, could possibly be just a critical so the findings of this presentation is that uh, the investigating officers who uh, really plays a crucial role at the scene of crime really the secures uh, secures the crime scene or if they secures they uh, really collects the physical evidence or stores and transport it it properly to the forensic labs so they lack uh, the logical thinking fail, fails to follow up on leads and do not look for physical evidences that can link the perpetrators to the crime so my recommendations uh, include that investigating officer should be sensitized adequately as well as trained professionally about how to collect such forensic evidences and uh, uh, store it transport it we have the standard operating procedures uh, already set but still uh, there is lack of sensitization and training next um, uh, there is a lack of forensic evidence collection kits in police station so it should be made available and there should also be amendment in the criminal procedure code for the mandatory collection of physical evidence since it is still uh, an optional uh, choice for the police officers to collect physical evidence especially from the heinous crimes like rape rape so thank you so much that was my presentation